Hi everybody, hope you're all safe and well. Now this is the start of a little mini series if you like of the build up and lead up to the big event Christmas to celebrate the advent. So let's open number one. What can it be? Looks like a little wooden, no it's not. It's a candle, a little tea light candle. So, 1st of December, a lovely little Christmas tree tea light to get me in the spirit of things. Right, now I'm off out to do a bit of Christmas shopping, a um, few errands to run, so you can come along with me and uh, we'll see where the day takes us. One of the main jobs today will be for me to go and get a gas bottle. So, I'll just show you where I'll keep it. There we go, nothing special. Just a little gas bottle, so I'll get that changed and uh, that'll keep me in tea. So I'm just heading off to the uh, supermarket, that's where we get our local uh, gas bottles from really. They do them at DIY stores as well, so uh, Superstore is probably about half an hour away from me, so this is a little bit closer. Now the price of them used to be about 20, 22 euros, but in recent months it's probably gone up to 30 euros, so still not bad value, lasts me probably two to three months. And uh, what they normally do is run out when you're halfway through a Sunday roast, but lucky enough it didn't happen this time, so that's okay. Right, nearly there. So I'm just waiting for the lady to turn up uh, so I can exchange my bottle and I'll be on my way. I've decided to take a bit of a diversion on the way home. I believe there's an ancient um, forge around here. Uh, it's a lovely bit of uh, sort of local history. I'm trying to find it. Right, I've arrived there. Not been here before. Don't know whether it's open to the public still. I'll soon find out. It's looking promising. Right, it says here they do guided tours on Sundays. It's not Sunday today, so I may still be able to have a look round. I'm not sure how to get into here at the moment. I can hear running water, as you normally can when you're near a forge. That's the source of the water. Absolutely stunning here. Okay, let's look for the visitor centre, which is probably there. I just went into the visitor centre, there's nobody there, so I'm just going to have a wander around. So I'm not sure how far I'll be able to get in to see the actual forge, or whether it's open to the public, but I shall sure have a try. And there's a nice building down here, so even if I get a glimpse of that, maybe we'll come back another day and have a proper tour. Alright, doing lots of work here. Looks like this is the mill pond I suppose that builds up the the head of water and feeds the uh, the forge the builders are in at the moment renovation work is underway there's a lovely lovely building here right let's get closer have a look so there's the little mill house there's like the Sluice gates, if you like, hold back the water. And I think they are the chimneys. It's a a monument site, historic. So imagine it's quite interesting. Uh, I'll just have a quick scout around, and then we'll do the the proper tour another day. I think. Nice bits of detail here on the gates. Looks interesting. You never know what you're going to find. Always take these little detours off the beaten track and it's normally worthwhile. I think... Yeah, these are the renovated chimneys. I suppose they would have had fires under there to heat up whatever they were doing. So yeah, very interesting place. Nice and tranquil. There you go, it's a lovely, it's not really a chateau, more of a manoir. Beautiful grounds. 
even when I'm walking down a track I'm always looking at stonework masonry I'm just wondering like this section here it's just sticking out of a wall and you think well what was there then don't suppose I'll ever know right here's a better view of that beautiful manoir stroke chateau don't know Avery's and other cages about I think just up there is an old church let's go and have a look oh yeah I'd make a good detective wouldn't I Chapelle <laughs> and the mill is down there so let's go and have a quick look at this oh that's very sweet lovely little church plenty of charm and character I love that little bell tower on top right I think it's kind of set out on a trail so I'll continue walking there's that church and the derelict building down the bottom there right if I'm not back in an hour send out a search party <laughs> the track's getting smaller and smaller I've seen a couple of mountain goats uh, wading through thick mud now oh no uh, oh yeah let's go for it no pain no gain it's like sinking mud find me right here we go it's a beautiful crisp day today a little bit chilly I like it like this you can tell winter's on its way time to get the provisions in that reminds me I must check the wood store when I get back right this is lovely right nearly down to the bottom part of the park should soon see the forge Right, I think it's that way. And there's the stream that runs through. Still not found that forge. The air always smells so fresh and clean when you walk in a forest. It's good for the mind as well as your body. Yeah, I like to stretch my legs. I've got a few slipped discs in the bottom of my back, so if I uh, sit still too long a bit of arthritis creeps in so I <clears throat> always like to go for a walk feel so much better afterwards especially in a place like this fabulous not that far from me probably about 20 minutes away so right I can see the manoir again they've hit that forge well what a magical place this must have been if you was growing up here as a child absolutely beautiful now i do hope shortly to be getting a new camera but a few problems with my uh, camera on my phone you know i'm a rookie at this but i still enjoy it and all the time everyone else is enjoying seeing what i'm seeing i'll carry on now a lot of these bridle ways and pathways are old disused train lines not huge trains i think they were mainly used for the quarrying stone and things like that but I know in this area there's certainly um, a lot of stone took out to build local buildings so yeah these are disused train lines and every now and again I've just spotted one you'll see at various points along the old train line the station house that would have controlled the gates I believe so there it is that one there so they are all the way along these paths every three or four kilometers I believe people live in them now so smoke out the chimney someone's got their wood burner alight and that reminds me I still need to sort my wood out ah here we go La Forges de Varenne a little bit about the history looks like an old ironworks right let's get back home that's always the trouble I pop out for something a little bit of shopping drive along I see a signpost historic monument or anything like that that's interesting and I'm, I'm off sometimes a bottle of milk can take me hours never mind <laughs> just remembered for our head home I need to get some um, packaging um, I've just had a sale on my Etsy shop so I've got to box that up and get that posted off tomorrow 
Uh, my local builders merchant does packaging for me parcel, so let's get there before it shuts for lunch. So I eventually got back home. Right, let's get that gas bottle connected up, get myself a cup of tea, and then I sit outside for 10 minutes in the glorious sunshine. It's absolutely lovely today. Right, let's get the car unpacked. Right, gas ball connected. Yep, that's working. Kettle on, cup of tea. Lovely. So that concludes day one. Hope you enjoyed it. See you tomorrow for day two. Bye for now.